hi guys welcome back to my channel it's the cooking nuts once again and in today's video we are going to be making ginat paste stew or ground nuts sauce so this is like a step where i come from at least once a week or twice a family here has this particular sauce for lunch or dinner so i just decided to share this recipe and see how we go about it let's go We have our G-nut paste that is not cooked. Then we have uh, mushrooms this time. I'm going to be using mushrooms. I have the small ones, the local ones that are really so fragrant. And then the big ones that are a little bit chewy. I have a uh, carrot. I'm going to be using the small onions. Then I have a spring onion. The smaller onions have more flavor than the big ones. So yeah, whenever I have them, they are the ones I use. Then I have a cauliflower and a green capsicum i really don't like plain g nut sauce so i make sure to at least have some veggies i have a tomato and salt to taste so that's all we need and we're just going to go into the cooking first of all i'm going to first uh, put my tomatoes on the pan and cook them down with a little bit of water and salt so they are so tender and can you know mash and they mix together with everything now the traditional way of doing this i have a video about peanuts i'm going to leave a link of it in the description box the first one i ever did and this particular one i am twisting it a little bit but it all does the same however when you add in the salt and the tomatoes in the middle of the cooking of the peanuts most times they tend to mess it up so yeah make sure you either add them right now or don't add them at all then the salt either now or at the end of it all after you've already removed the fire so once our tomatoes are this soft and juicy and mushy we're just going to go in with our peanut paste i'm using this one because it's a little bit um durable first of all it takes a little bit longer the ones we just you know meal from here tend to get spoiled real quick and it's not something i'm going to be having every day every day so that i consume it in really a short time so yeah i prefer these ones and then all i'm going to do is just mix them with the, gin the tomatoes this continues to mash the tomatoes and then yeah get the whole situation cleaner and safer other than pouring it in the water if you watched my previous video about peanuts yeah you can tell it's a little bit hard to just pour the paste into water and then be able to you know mix it all to no lumps so i'm going to be adding in little water slowly slowly until all the peanut paste is dissolved and i have no lumps even the tomatoes should be dissolved at this stage yeah, I don't like most especially g nuts that have those undercooked or almost cooked g nuts that really taste weird. Yeah, so one thing you should know about these g nuts is they are always going to get thick. No one should lie to you, they are always going to get thick. So, adding as much water as possible, of course, depending on how much g nuts you're using, but adding enough water just to see the mixture as loose as possible. Just don't make it a river yeah don't make it a river but don't leave it thick unless you just want to boil it once and go you don't want to have that like ugandan local peanuts stew like you're going to see here so as you can see i added in my water and i'm letting this boil you're going to have to keep close see this is the mess i caused just because i went to attend to my child and forgot to be where i was supposed to be that was mixing or stirring in my stew so you have to stay around and yeah or else use super little fire which takes a little bit long so yeah at the end of it all eventually it is going to like cook down and slow down and it's not going to be bubbling anymore now when that stage comes it is when you're going to add in the rest of the vegetables because the genus are, all, are almost ready and we don't want um the vegetables to get over ready 
and also when you add them before the other side then the g-nuts rarely rarely thicken up unless you're gonna cook for maybe two more hours but once the g-nuts have already thickened up and you add in your vegetables then they collect it together and it's now a beautiful mess okay so now this stage is when i'm adding in my uh mushrooms now usually people first soak the small mushrooms because uh sometimes they have soil but i prefer if you can pluck off the soil part and then just throw them in like that because now the other water you cannot use it here and then the all uh flagrance of flavor is gonna stay behind so all the vegetables i had prepared i'm going to just go in with them that is a cauliflower it's the only thing that was remaining i think and i don't want it so 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 cooked so yeah by the time you add this be sure you have like 10 minutes to go and we're just going to leave this on completely low heat until the g nuts are ready now like you can see they are almost there they are not there but they are almost there and i told you these g nuts always get thick you see this is not the consistency we started with but they always get thick i'm using this silicone spatula because it can you know get into the sides and get the g nuts off the pot but somehow you may need to get a wooden spatula because it can be able to scrape off the bottom because g nuts can even burn when they are boiling and just like that we are ready once your genets start producing their own oil then you know you are ready you have the typical ugandan genet sauce you have your chinewa it's ready you can serve it with matoke rice posho anything i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you soon in my next video if you haven't subscribed yet please is the time click the button click it and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads i'll see you bye